right, um, let's try it with this uh, cam collar I have lying around. Uh, might be better visuals than just with an iPhone. Uh, and it's a little bit easier to hold steady, I hope. <laughs> let's see. Um, yeah, battery management in the area. There are two things to consider. Um, for one, there is battery cooling, liquid cooling, and there's a battery heater. The battery heater is automatic and it will turn on whenever the battery uh, management system sees the need for a warmer battery during charging. That is important. This is active during charging. This is not preheat. Uh, then there is a battery cooling system that should be on by default. It was in my car and that also makes sense. You will find it under EV settings in the instrument cluster. And uh, in English, I think it's uh, battery cooling assist. Um, if you want maximum charging speeds, uh, battery cooling unterstützung in German. Uh, if you want maximum charging speeds, you will need to turn that on. That is a set and forget setting. So once uh, activated, this will stay on. Um, the reason why you can turn this off in the first place uh, will uh, probably be due to uh, very strict environmental rules in Japan. Um, they are very aware of acoustic uh, pollution as well. And... Uh, which is a good thing actually and there might be uh, residential areas where it's just not allowed to have uh, cooling fans and compressors running at night at least it's not not desirable so it's good that you can turn that off um, and um, yeah most people will turn it on or leave it on and uh, that's it so this will also if turned on, will kick in whenever the battery management system sees the need to cool the battery during charging or during driving. Uh, now there is this thing called uh, preheating. And this you won't find here in the instrument cluster because it's not uh, directly um, part of the battery management system. So not, not part of the, the driving system that you have, but uh, this falls more into the realms of charge planning. I'll explain in a minute. Um, if you go to the settings and then EV, you will find battery heizung, battery heater. Uh, the labeling is a, a little bit unfortunate. It uh, would be much better if it said uh, battery preheat, battery vorheizung, because that's what it is. Uh, at temperatures, outside temperatures under 10 degrees, um, the manual states that um, you uh, can turn this on uh, 60 to 30 minutes prior charging you then will uh, get better charging speeds. But that comes at a cost, obviously. Uh, this will um, uh, make your efficiency worse because you are using energy to uh, heat the battery. So you are trading efficiency for time. And um, since this is something you, for one, uh, might want to decide from case to case, and secondly, uh, something that uh, can't um, be decided by the car for you because it doesn't know if you're in a hurry or not. Um, it makes sense that this is manual, um, especially uh, considering that with electric vehicles even more so than with traditional ones, uh, it's about energy conservation. So um, not everybody is in a hurry and the car will charge decently fast without preheat as well. Um, I would say if they want to add an option to make that automatically once you uh, select a fast charging station, yeah, sure, options are always good. And um, with a firmware update over the air, this should be easily doable. This car is perfectly equipped for that. It has a two hard drive system or two a flash drive system. Uh, so it can actually pull a firmware update and install it while driving and then it will just switch the drive uh, once you're stopped. 
next time. So very nice. Um, yeah, and this battery preheating, it will stay on for an hour, I think, and then it will turn off and then it's uh, gone. So you will have to do that every time you want to preheat the battery. I think that's it for battery management. Not much more to consider here.